They called her Goldilocks because of her lovely golden hair. <sighs> and her beautiful curls. I'll wear off at work, Goldie. And I will see you tonight. Don't let any strangers in, will you, Goldie? Oh, and please don't forget to take the mushroom soup off the stove, darling. Bye. Bye. Yes, Mama. Yes, Papa. to play with. I know. I can pretend. I'm an acrobat at the circus. Goldilocks. She thought if only she could pick some fresh mushrooms in the nearby fields and get back by the time her mother got home, everything would be all right. Oh, no! Hey, you, get off of my home! Come on, get off of there! I can't see a thing! Would you like it if I sat on your house? A uh, speaking rabbit. I I must have banged my head. Uh, I I'm sorry, Mr. R rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, hey, not so formal, please. I'm Benny, occupation Bunny, Benny Bunny. See, or Bunny Benny, depends on which way you look at it as to which way you say it. What's your name, anyhow? Oh, I'm Goldilocks. I'm trying to find fresh field mushrooms for my mother. I was meant to be watching the soup, but I got bored and forgot. Field mushrooms? Ha! Huh, they're right out of season. But I know where there's a whole bunch of forest mushrooms. Real fresh. Wanna come, Goldilocks? Where to? To the enchanted forest, of course. Oh, no. I, I don't like to go into the forest. It's so strange. But it's not dangerous. Strangerous, maybe. <laughs> That's because it's strange. <laughs> but it's quite safe. 
Bet you never met a speaking bunny before, Goldilocks. Oh, uh, no, not, not really. You ain't seen nothing yet, Goldilocks. Come on, I got a pal I'd like you to meet. You'll like him, I bet you like him. <laughs> Goldilocks. Sit down and I'll explain. Ah, Goldilocks. Sorry, Ben. Me. Yeah, well, don't do it again. You might make it flat. Ugh. Not that ugly or in a flat tail bunny, <laughs> Goldilocks. We look like ducks in reverse. <laughs> 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 when he grows up, because that's Alf, wise, you know? There he is, see? Hiya, Ollie! This is my new friend, Goldilocks! Got any wisdom for us today, Ollie? Ooh, ooh. Yes, Benny. As a matter of fact, I have. A rolling stone gathers no glass houses. Ooh. A rolling stone gathers no glass houses? Very good, Ollie. What does it mean? Ooh, ooh. I'm not sure. I've only just thought it up, but uh ooh. you're out very late, Betty. I can stay out even later than this if I want. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've just thought of another saying, Benny. Uh, behind every man is a good mother. Ooh. Why did you bring that up, Ollie? Um, because your mother's standing behind you, Benny. Oh, uh, hi, Mama. I was just coming home. Ask Goldilocks here. Sh she'll tell you. Of course, Benjamin. You're always just coming home, aren't you? And you're just going to do this, and you're just going to do that. You were meant to be home two hours ago, young rabbit. Just get. <laughs> and as for you, you are not a suitable friend for my little boy. And you've got only two legs and no tail. <laughs> It'd be better if you stopped seeing each other. Me and Benny? I think you're a bad influence on my Benjamin. Did I do something wrong, Mrs. Rabbit? I'm really sorry if I did. Good day to you, bunny stealer. Did I do something wrong? Ooh. Give a dog a bad name and Bob's your uncle, Goldilocks. Ooh -hoo. Oh, dear. What did I do? Mushrooms! Thank goodness for that! <coughs> about me. 
must be a farmhouse. Oh, thank heavens for that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Of course not. Did you leave the door open, Bartholomew? N no, Dad. Someone could have walked straight in and stolen everything. Next time, I'll go back while we're out and check it's locked before we come home. Would that suit you, Herbert? All right, Beverly, point taken. At least the house is still here. Come on, let's see what's left inside. Whoa! What's this? Someone's been eating my porridge! How dare they! Oh, and someone's been eating my porridge, too. Someone's been eating my porridge, too. And they've eaten it all up. Porridge pirates! Ah! Look! Someone's been sitting in my chair. It's been moved, darn it. Someone's been sitting on my chair as well. Oh, this is awful. And someone's been sitting in my chair, too, and broken it all to bits. <laughs> Quiet, Bartholomew. Those varmints could still be in the house upstairs. We might be in mortal danger. Boy, oh boy, someone's been lying in my bed. I don't believe this, Beverly. And mine too, Herbert. Oh, how dare they just walk in here and take over the house. This is more than I can bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And then... there she is. Oh, 
far as I can see, Beverly, the girl's wild. M maybe you better go and fetch her out. You got a better way with humans than me. Careful now. They're dangerous if you corner them. Oh, okay, Herber. I don't believe she's one of those really dangerous humans, Herbert. She's so cute. And she looks kinda scared to me. Just come right on out. We won't bite you, will we, Herbert? Uh, uh no. Uh, I guess not, Beverly. So long as she doesn't bite us. What's your name, sweetheart? c c I'm Beverly Bear. This is my husband, Herbert. And a little bear, Bartholomew. Pleased to meet you all. I'm sorry I broke your chair and ate your porridge. It was an accident. I guess that's okay. I guess. I just realized about your name, Goldilocks. You're here. It's so beautiful and good. And Willie, Curly. Yeah, Willie, Curly. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna come outside and play Goldilocks? After you both had some nice bread and honey, I've got for you in the kitchen. You must still be hungry, Goldilocks. I know Bartholomew is. Oh, oh, please call me Goldie. My friends do that. So far as I know, Goldie, this road takes you straight out of the forest and to the farmland beyond. You should find your way home easily from there. Good luck, Goldie. It's been a real pleasure meeting you. Thank you. You've all been so kind. I'll never forget. Hi, Goldie. Goodbye, Bartholomew. Sorry about your... You... <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Goldie. Bye. Bye, and see the three performing bears! <laughs> oh. 
No! Oh. It's all very well to say you were looking for mushrooms. We've got lost, Goldilocks. But we thought we'd never see you again. Why, if anything happened to you, it would have broken our hearts. But, Mama, Papa, I've said I'm sorry. And as for that nonsense about talking rabbits and bears... But... but it's... it's true! Oh, look. We're just glad you're home safe and sound, Goldie. Make no mistake about it. Yes, Papa. Yes, Mama. <laughs> Before. Nice bread and honey for you both. <laughs> oh, hi, Goldie. Bye, Goldie. Bye, Goldie. I miss my friends. Goldie. You've been such a good girl since your escapade in the forest. And we thought you might need a little cheering up, Goldie. There's a circus in town. Would you like to go? A circus? I'd love to go to the circus. And you can, my dear. Roll up, roll up, and see the laughing clown. See the fire-eating man and the human cannonball. Roll up, roll up. Thank you, young lady. Go right on in. See the mighty gorilla. Roll up, roll up. See the performing bears. <laughs> <laughs> The Mighty Gorilla on the Flying Trapeze! For the first time, the human cannonball, the most daring man on Earth. Watch as we fire him way up to the roof of our tent, and then watch as he parachutes back safely into the ring. Stop looking so nervous, will you? It affects the audience. Can't help it, Mr. McNulty. I've never done this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
quite deliberately, as you just saw, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and then, right up into the stratosphere itself, uh, before he bravely, uh, later, <coughs> hopefully, yes, parachutes back to Earth. Uh, a big hand for the human cannonball! <laughs> Gentlemen, our newest act, the fabulous Three Bears! Oh, no! Oh, no! My friends, the bears! Oh, poor bears! How could he do that to them? No! No, it's just horrible! So cruel and wicked! Another day, another dollar. <laughs> that showbiz. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me! They keep you in a cage too? Yet, I double as the handyman. I'm just fixing up the cage, da? Oh, I see. It's Goldilocks. Goldilocks, how wonderful to see you. Oh, thank goodness I found you. How on earth? What do you think you're doing? Uh... Let her go, Bongo. She's our friend. Oh, bears, my poor friends. What happened? Well, it's quite a story, Goldilocks. And that ringmaster, McNulty, he's a cruel, cruel man. The only friend we've found so far is old Bongo here. He understands us. Oh, we do miss being free, Goldilocks. This is the worst thing that has ever happened to our family. Uh, I want to go home. And you will, Bartholomew. I'm going to help you all escape. I'm afraid that's not possible. Not with McNulty around. He's a mean piece of work. We'd never make it out of here, Goldilocks. Believe me, we've tried. Oh, but I can't leave them here, Bungo. I must try and do something. Where are the keys to the cages kept? Yeah, over there in McNulty's personal caravan, but I don't think... Oh, no. Here he comes now, doing his inspection rounds. Duck Goldilocks. Get to the back of your cage and go to sleep, bears, or I'll put the chains back on you. Phew. That was close, Goldilocks. Now, exactly where does he keep the keys in his caravan, Bongo? Well, hanging on a piece of string above his stove. 
Thanks, Bongo. I'll be right back. Wish me luck, everyone. Be careful, Goldilocks. Oh, I don't like this at all. If he gets a hold of her, we might never see Goldilocks again. Are you dark? some decent help around here. You want a job done properly? You gotta do it yourself. Those stupid bears have got lead in their paws. Now, where did I put that binding wire? Think I put it in. Ah, there it is. Must be getting old. Can't remember a thing. Yep, you gotta do it yourself, now. I knew we shouldn't have let her go. She's been gone for hours. They just know she's been caught. Poor girl, and she was doing it all for us. Her folks must be worried stiff about her. Oh dear, this is serious, Bongo. <laughs> You're safe. Yes, and I've got the keys. Quick, help me with the lock. Hurry, Bongo, please. Hurry, hurry. Quick. Stop! Stop! Oh, we 
should be safe in here until we figure out what to do. Ah, when I get hold of you, I'll skin you alive. Skin you alive. Quick, follow me. Hey, get down from there. <laughs> I can't go back to the circus after this. I've got nowhere to live. That's easy. You can come and live with us, can he, Beverly? You sure can, Bungo. You're one of the nicest, most understanding humans we ever met. Oh, apart from Coldy. Just think, Bongo. You and me can go salmon fishing. I'd really like that and go for long nature walks in the woods. Eh, sounds like heaven, Herbert. And climb trees all day. Oh, can we? Yep. Can Goldilocks live with us too? No, Bartholomew. I've got my own home and my own mama and papa. But we can visit each other all the time. I've got to go. My parents are waiting for me. One thing I still don't know is why Bongo and I can understand you all. We're people, and you're all bears and a rabbit. I already told you that, Goldilocks. If you like someone, you understand them. Besides, me and the bears are from the Enchanted Forest. It's magic. That helps a lot. You're right, Benny. And because we understand each other, we can help each other. Yep. We all share this world together. 
If people understand that and care about it, especially about us animals, we're all going to get along a lot, lot better. Yep, caring and sharing. That's what it's all about. What do you think, Ollie? Well, yes. Uh, the family that cares and shares together uh, shouldn't throw stone, uh, gather rolling moss, have a silver lining, is worth two in the bush. Uh, uh, give me a minute. Uh, the family that shares and cares together... Oh, oh now I've got it. Uh, is worth one in the bush. <laughs> oh, uh, <two. laughs> 